Okay, so this is uh, a repair for the Jeep Gladiator. Um, I believe also applies to the Jeep Wrangler, but I can't be sure. This is when you get those gremlin messages where everything is failing, you know, your auto park is disabled and uh, your anti-lock braking system is off and it says change your shifter and just a whole bunch of your Christmas lights uh, come up on the dash. Uh, it is obviously quite improbable that all of those systems would fail at the same time and apparently the culprit is this uh, green connection box that we see over here also the CAN bus also called the star connector and that's what we're going to attempt to replace today uh, should be a relatively simple fix hopefully and the part number that you want is right here, 6832-1746-AA, 6832-1746-AA. Uh, this is available at the Mopar store um, in your Jeep dealer, uh, or you can get it online. I just went to the dealer and got it, just to be sure that uh, there was not a counterfeit part running around. Uh, you should expect to pay something on the order of 80 to 100 dollars depending upon whether the sale or not or something like that yeah so this is what we're gonna do this part is what we're gonna replace this guy and we're gonna try and make sure that all of these connections essentially um, are seated in the exact same position i don't believe it matters but uh, why take a chance I and mean, i'm not that sophisticated about how these connections work I did see, uh, I believe Gator or Reliant put up a, a nice video on this. Uh, you can go check that out. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna do that over here. So here's a close up of how that connection looks like. Um, this has uh, some clips underneath here where it will seat itself uh, over there. And we'll show you how that's done in just a minute. And inside of these, you will see very fine pins. So you should be very careful when you're disconnecting and reconnecting these. Um, and obviously, if you don't feel comfortable, you should have a professional do it. Uh, we're gonna give this a shot and see how that works. All right, so we've got them all replaced uh, in the exact same position as we found them. And the key when you're trying to open these tabs, uh, be very gentle with them is in this part is to go with a fine uh, screwdriver to the back here and then gently push in and then it'll pop up all right don't try to force it any other way um, I know people try and approach it from the top because the tab is visible here but it's actually much better to go from the bottom with that screwdriver I'm not sure if you can see that uh, let me see if I can get a better angle for you so where it should go is really here uh, from the back if you push this this whole thing pops up so this has been replaced in exactly the same um, order in which it was found and now we're gonna seat that back basically it's it's on the rail uh, and it's a set of clips so we should be able to seat that back and then uh, give it a test now, for those of you curious to see as to what is it that this CAN bus is all about, uh, this was the back cover, uh, which sits like this. We just took that off. As you can see, this is a series of electronic connections, not just plain electrical. And this is sitting here uh, in the glove box compartment. Now, with, with the extreme heat, that you have in this area, this Gladiator is about almost six years old now and about 166,000 miles on on the odometer. So, uh, you know, good chance that these things can fail uh, or start acting up. Now in my case, uh, the message would come on and go off and come on and go off. And yeah, this is, this is obviously quite sensitive. Uh, I mean, it has lasted a while, it's quite robust. But still, can't fail. I mean, this is a relatively, hopefully, simple fix. Uh, we're gonna test that and see if uh, if this whole fix worked. Uh, but I'm reasonably sure it should.